Welcome to the season finale of season four of the corporate courtroom, and this is going to be one hell of an episode. So today, I've called our three main champions. Our hardcore champion, Christian, our forgotten intercontinental champion, Kane, and our 5155 champion, The Big Show. Tonight, we're going to crown one champion because all three of you are going to be in a match. And at the end of all three of your matches, whoever the remaining champions are are going to fight in a triple threat match to crown one 5155 champion. Christian, let's start with you. Well... I sure as hell have had a career here on the 5155 channel, and uh, being the 5155 hardcore champion, life's been good to me. And I'm a multi-time, yes, multi-time 5155 champion. I don't know if I was an IC champion. I think I was. But, you know, I've held a lot of nice titles. So, if I have to fight right now, who's my first opponent going to be? Well, we took a shot in the dark with this one. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, it's the Hunky Tonk Man. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Read my ass. Don't be cruel. I'm gonna take that hardcore title. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I ring the own bell. You're telling me I have to go against that old piece of crap? Oh, I told you not to be cruel. Oh my god, Hunky Tonk Man's got Christian. My god, he's got Christian up. Spitters are quitters. Oh my god, he landed right on his neck! One, two, and Christian kicks out right at the very last second. Spitters are quitters, eh? Oh my god, and Christian just throws Honky Tonk Man over into the pile of crap. This one's for you, Grandma. Oh, and Christian just face slams the Honky Tonk Man. Can you roll him over? One, two. No! The Honky Tonk Man kicks out of it! What's he doing? Oh my god. What is this? Good lord! I've never seen a move like that before. One, two, three. Looks like your first qualifier for the triple threat match at the end of this episode is the new hardcore champion, the Honky Tonk Man. Kane, you're next. Now, Kane, you're gonna defend that title in a triple threat match. Just cause we wanna see how good you are. And once again, we found some guys who we would never expect to face you. What the hell is that? I'm so hard right now. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. The Bushwhackers, hey, hey bitch, you wanna do this? No, we're gonna do this, I said no. Well, we're still gonna do it, no. My god, it's the Bushwhackers. They're gonna take on Kane in a triple threat match for the IC title. No! Butch, we're gonna win some gold. No, we're not. I don't want to be here right now. You don't understand the pain I've been going through the past few years. I freaking hated my Hall of Fame induction. I had to lick your damn forehead. And now we gotta go against him for the damn Intercontinental title. A title that we would never even hold in our careers. I'm hard right now. Ring the bell. And not even 10 seconds into the match, Kane just double choke slam both the Bushwhackers. One, two, three. Looks like Kane is going to stay the Intercontinental Champion. God damn it, Luke. I told you I didn't want to do it, but now you always had to be the rough one. <sighs> I thought we were going to do this. Why the hell does your voice keep changing, Luke? This is why I'm pissed off with you. You do so much bullshit in the whole bushwhackers. I I'm pissed with you. We're through. I'm going to go whack some bush. I'm hard right now. And finally, Big Show, you're defending the 5155 Championship against this man. Harney? <laughs> oh, I love Harney. I don't think he likes me anymore, but goddamn, we have a history. This is for my friends, my family, and my friends. We're gonna do this. Ding, ding, ding. Now, honey, I'm gonna go easy on ya. Oh, yeah. Oh, God damn it! not again. 20 minutes later, Big Show had a Caesar. Oh, my God, you gotta be kidding me. One, two, three. 
And there you have it, your new 5155 champion is Hornswoggle, and now these three men have to fight to determine the ultimate champion. And now it is time to crown the ultimate 5155 champion. Honking Tonk Man, Hornswoggle, and Kane, ring the bell. Dang, dang, dang. Here we go, Honky Tonk Man going right after Kane, and they're fighting on Big Show's carcass over there. Bad things happen when you're in a corner with the Big Show. I don't know, but Kane seems to be the most dominant one. And oh my god, like we just said, he just throws Honky Tonk Man over there. And Hornswoggle, Hornswoggle just threw that, that sex pillow down on the ground. And oh my god, Kane's just dominating. Oh, he's going for the cover. One, two, but he gets up. Where's Kane going? My god, he just jumped off the cliff. I think he killed himself. Well, it's down to two. Kane must have just had too much pressure on him. And Honky Tonk Man, going for the nut buster. He hit it. Oh my god, Hornswoggle's probably stunned. One, two, three. Here is your winner and the new 5155 champion of champions, the Honky Tonk. Oh my god. Explain to me what I'm supposed to be looking at. Cut the woods music. How come I wasn't told that there was going to be a Champions Battle Royal or whatever the hell just happened, and I wasn't invited to be a participant? Explain, Vince. Well, Woody, we thought you were off recording your movie, Hardwood, which should be hitting theaters very soon. Screw Hardwood right now. I want to be nothing more than a champion, and I think I need to... Woody, goddammit, calm down! Sorry, my testosterone level went up. Sorry about that. Vince, you okay? Damn it, Woody. You see, this is why we can't have nice things around here. Because you have to frickin' ruin everything. It wasn't my fault. Oh, whose fault was it then, Casper the Ghost? You're lucky I don't sue your ass. Well, I'm just upset. I should be the champion. And, uh... Well, it's gonna replace the corporate courtroom now that this season's ending again. I don't know, damn it. It's just. We don't ever have any time to make any damn episodes. And this is like probably the last episode of a wrestling figure skit on this channel for a long ass time due to schoolwork and bullshit and all that. All that. So, you know what? For all I care, wake up Big Show and start BS again. BS again? Oh yeah! I would love to hell do I love you, Vince! Take off your pants and let me jerk you off. This is the kind of party I'm into. I'm gonna help you. Nope. Vince, I have some good ideas for BS that's gonna be starting soon. It's gonna be awesome. And here's my first idea. What? Tell me it's good. Well Are you okay, buddy? Uh Vince, you look a little ill. Just leave him alone, Big Show. He's... I said leave him alone. Let's go party. Yeah. We so have to watch that together. Yeah. Too bad we don't have a VHS player. Did you just snort a line of cocaine? It was coming out of my nose. I had to keep it back in. I'm hard. <laughs> You're hard. Wait until you see hard wood coming soon to YouTube. And now, John Cena gets to do things that John Cena wasn't supposed to do. What the... What kind of sick freak have you turned into, John? Punk. It's not how it looks. 
You threw Vince's body into a Victoria's Secret bag. Where the hell did you get a Victoria's Secret bag? From Victoria. Why are you asking? I just... I'm disgusted with you. I'll see you soon then, punker. I'll see you soon. <sighs> Freak. You'll remember me for this.